You're with the CKUA Radio Network. My name is Grant Stobel, and I'm overjoyed to be able to welcome all the way from the West Coast to this nation, Catherine Calder to CKUA's LP Library. Hey, Catherine. Hey, thank you so much for having me. It's so great to be here. It is a huge pleasure, and really want to thank you for taking the time. You and the fantastic gentleman in your band come down to the LP Library, set up and play for us today. Oh, it's our pleasure. So what are we going to be hearing first, Catherine? This is a song called Take a Little Time. It's a big favorite on CKUA from the most recent record, 2015's self-titled Alf Effort from the springtime of last year. Catherine Calder, live in CKUA's LP library.
Yeah, all right. Catherine Calder, live in CKUA's music library. Man, you guys sound fantastic. Thank you. It's such a pleasure, and what an enchanting tune that is, of course. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, that's a big one here on this station the past year or so. And Catherine, it's so marvelous to have you here. It's been a long time in coming. You know, we've been enjoying your music for like a dozen years or so with, you know, Immaculate Machine and New Pornographers and your own terrific three solo albums. And of course, you've also become a CKUA DJ in the last little while. I know, I know. It's amazing. And yet, through all of this, this is your first time actually being present in the CKUA facility, right? Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I don't know. Um, it's just one of those 21st century kind of things, I, I know, guess. it is, it is. Yeah, it's really, it's a, such a beautiful building, and I'm super excited to be here. And for those that have enjoyed your programming on the radio, you've been making those shows from home, like in your home studio? Yeah, yeah, yes. And is that where you craft your uh, albums as well these it's days? It's actually exactly the same place, yep. And it just happens you have like one of the most celebrated indie rock studios in your home, right? <laughs> yeah. All, yeah, it's also in our home, but not where I work. Yeah, <laughs> down in our down in our basement, and uh, yeah. Your other half is a celebrated dude by the name of Colin Stewart. Yeah, who runs this great recording studio, and for many years he's been doing cutting edge stuff in the West Coast scene. You know, the new pornographers, Lady Hawk, Destroyer, Black Mountain, all kinds of stuff. And uh, is, how's it for you making your music at home these days, like in your, you know, home environment that is, uh, what is it, just outside Victoria? Is that yeah, right? it's just outside of Victoria. Um, I love it. I love working from home. Um, I like uh, being in my slippers <laughs> and uh, I enjoy my tea. Like I'm an old lady, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, it's great. Um, I also quite enjoy um, just being able to take a lot of time to figure out how songs should sound and have lots of time to develop them. So I'll, you know, I'll record something and then I might give it a, a week, you know, and that's kind of the luxury of being able to do it in your house. I get a very strong, like, elemental sense from some of the lyrics in these songs. Like, it just feels like it's very close to nature. Are, are you, like, connected to nature when you're uh, making music and composing music? Well, you know, we live about a five-minute walk from the beach. Mm. And um, I think I've always been, uh, I'm very you know, born and bred in the, on the West Coast on Vancouver Island. And so, um, yeah, there's a lot of ocean. I find it very soothing, you know, um, and mountains. I like look, you know, I, so I kind of draw on a lot of nature for lyrics. And I mean, we, we are nature, technically. We're all nature. It's all nature. And so, um, yeah, yeah, you know, I talk about the ocean a lot, you know, <laughs> <laughs> kind of obsessed. <laughs> first couple of records obviously each of them was a kind of cathartic record in its own way you know the first one dealt with uh, the passing of your mother and the second one seemed very much to have to do with your father also mm -hmm. and uh, having just released a third record it's interesting that it's a self-titled one this time it's kind of like starting just being Catherine Calder yeah it was a kind of a healing kind of a healing record the first two were very I, I mean the, the first record was a gift from my mom really in its intent and then the second record was this like crazy sort of me dealing with the aftermath of you know both of my parents passing away and what and it was kind of this crazy uh, record that I honestly barely remember <laughs> recording you know I was in such a haze I think I don't know and then uh, I mean I remember bits of it <laughs> and um, uh, and then this, this this record, this Catherine Calder self-titled record, um, the self-titled thing just felt right. It felt kind of like, well, this seems like this sort of like a this is where I am now. And um, giving it a title didn't work. Like I, I like I thought I thought about it, and I tried some titles, and I was I was like, yeah, you know what? None of these are really working. The only one that really seems to work is just call it just call it self-titled. <laughs> So, yeah, and it was a very much a uh, kind of healing process. It was like, okay, I feel I was coming, I had come to terms with a lot of things and I was expressing it in the music. So, well, here in the province of Alberta, fans of Catherine Calder's have been starved for your uh, presence for a long time, but <laughs> you're touring through the province with a solo tour. You're going to be back very soon with the new pornographers in July at the Calgary Folk Fest. Yeah. And also, uh, some Alberta music fans may have recently caught the premiere of your documentary, A Matter of Time, That's which right. uh, just was shown in Alberta in the springtime. So yeah. tell us a little bit about the documentary. Well, the documentary, um, I was approached back... Uh, 
2012 by a couple of filmmakers who asked if I wanted to be part of a documentary about myself. <laughs> <laughs> and about, the, you know, they heard the story of my first album, which was dedicated to my mom and um, uh, recorded, you know, in our living room, in my home living room. Um, yeah, and uh, so they heard that story and they thought it would make a great documentary. And I wasn't sure about it. I, you know, at the time, I, was, I had to took a couple weeks. I thought, I thought I only took a couple days, but when I was talking to the filmmaker a little while ago, he was like, no, you took me two weeks to get back to me about this. He had a whole proposal, and it's funny, I really had to think about it, um, because it involved a lot of reliving of things, you know, of course. And uh, so I just had to kind of mentally prepare. It wasn't that I never didn't want to do it, it was just I had to kind of you know, be like, okay, I'm going to do this. It's going to be great. It's going to be a really good awareness video for ALS. It's going to be like a nice tribute to, for my mom, you know, her and our relationship. And, and it has been all of those things. It's been, it's been great. It's been amazing, actually. Um, and so I'm in it. I, don't have, I didn't have anything to do with the actual filming of it, although I, my music's all over it, of course, and I did a little bit of score work. And so it's been really cool to see it go from, you know, this idea of a project to an actual on the big screen while we're eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so have you seen it? Have you seen the film? I've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I've seen it. Yeah, lots. Must yeah, be a surreal experience. I yes. Imagine. Yeah, it is. It's it's lovely. You know, um, it's a it's kind of um, it follows the story of Lou Gehrig as well, the baseball player, um, and uh, of course, which ALS Lou Gehrig is another name for ALS. Um, and it follows the story of me joining the new pornographers, and it follows the story of me writing my record for my mom and my mom's illness, and you know it, it's um, and so it it it's a kind of a gentle film, even though it deals with heavy subject matter, and I'm really proud of what they did with it. Well, once again, the name of the film is A Matter of Time. The name of the album is Catherine Calder, and the name of the artist. Catherine Calder. <laughs> Catherine, just before uh, you tur we turn you loose on another song, why don't you introduce these fellows that are in the yeah, band? Yeah, I'd love to. Today. I'd love to. Okay, on my left, right left, is Nick Bermudez on bass. We've got Mark Carey on drums over here and Blair Hansen on guitar. All right, and Catherine Calder on keys and vocals. Catherine, please don't be a stranger. Yeah, I won't, I won't. I want to come back all the time. It's such a beautiful drive, too. It is nothing but gorgeous. And uh, this is Catherine Calder, singer, songwriter, and CKUA celebrity as well. Uh, <laughs> live for the first time in CKUA's environment. Uh, what are we going to have next? Uh, this is another song off the self-titled uh, album, and the song is called When You See My Blood. All right, beautiful. Thanks, you guys. the 
Beautiful, you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. All right. Catherine Calder and her great band live in CKUA's LP library. Happy trails, you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much.